Hey there, here from the big island of Hawaii. Got a mame sapote, a really nice big ready one, super ripe. I think it's gonna be really good. Um, it actually just came from the tree of the property that I'm now staying on. Um, so, gonna dig into this and t give you guys a little bit of update on what I've been up to since I've been here on the big island. Um, it's I've been here for almost three weeks and I have not been able to put out like I've been able to put out one really short video uh, but that's it because I have not had internet or um, anything reliable to put out videos and when I do have internet it's extremely slow so I'm so sorry that it's taken so long to get these Hawaii videos out there but they're definitely coming I have a lot of videos that I'm gonna share and uh, yeah just gonna give you the full scoop here on my situation but first I'm gonna crack this open nice big mame seed these are like one of my favorite seeds of any fruit they're so big and cool <laughs> here it is try it out mm. it's really good oh my goodness this one's like got that cherry flavor it's like Typically it's like sweet potato pie, but this one's super ripe, and I find the really ripe ones have like this strong um, cherry flavor. It's really good. Mm. Okay, so basically I was at the Woodstock Fruit Festival about a month ago, uh, met up with some of my friends that I knew in Austin, and uh, I knew that they were coming here to Hawaii for a while. They had plans to come here. And then we all got together at Woodstock, and then uh, some more friends started saying, you know, well, I want to go to Hawaii, and uh, there were other people going to Hawaii, and so now all these people were like, yeah, we're all going to Hawaii together, and uh, then that made me want to go to Hawaii with them, and uh, so that's basically what happened. I went home and just uh, did a little bit of work and made a little bit of money before coming out here. Um, Probably not enough, <laughs> but that's typically uh, how I just do it. I'm super glad that I came out here. The first week I was here was like total heaven, paradise. Um, my friends that were here had like an Airbnb, and so we were able to stay there for like a week. There were like five of us at first and then a sixth person came and we were all staying in this Airbnb which was like a one bedroom like it was just a like one room uh, one big room and then there was like a toilet outside um, and so six of us were like sleeping in this one room which was cool with me but I feel like maybe not so cool with uh, some of the others and um, it was really nice because they had a vehicle and we were just going to the farmers markets and checking out all these cool places and so it was like total paradise and we were just kind of we felt like probably the freest we were all together and doing uh, exactly what we wanted to do so towards the end of that we all wanted to try and find a farm that we could kind of stay together with uh, and work on like a farm work trade like with uh, exotic fruits and our first um, idea was coconut Chris and you may know coconut Chris from like uh, raw Ross's channel or maybe some other like you know raw vegan channels he lives here on the big island I'm not sure might be uh, the next option my friend Sam is going there he's there right now I think for the next few days to check it out and see if it's something that uh, he would like and if he does like it then he's gonna contact me and see if maybe I can come do that with him so I'm thinking that could be what's gonna happen, um, but basically we've just like they've been staying at work trade farms and um, you know doing their thing. We all kind of got split up after the Airbnb, and it kind of happened where uh, we met this guy named Cole, and he's in some of my videos. He's super awesome, and uh, I basically was like traveling with him for like a week. It was just the two of us. I thought for sure there were like 
some people in the group that I came here with that I was going to be sticking with the whole time, but we ended up getting split up and they went to like different farms and stuff to do work trade and uh, yeah, me and Cole weren't able to find a uh, work trade opportunity right away, so we were kind of like bouncing from place to place, kind of doing what we could and just finding places to camp and all that. Um, then he went to Kauai after about a week of traveling with me. Now he's there staying with a friend, and I've kind of been on my own, which has been really nice. <laughs> it feels more like me. It feels like I'm doing what I want to do now, where... I've never really had someone that I've traveled with before like that and so a lot of the time I was like going against my own intuition and not doing exactly what I wanted to do because I was like well I want this person to be comfortable you know I kind of <laughs> like I kind of rough it out sometimes I don't really try to rely on like other people where it seems like um, a lot of the group that I'm with are kind of more dependable on others and like wanting to yeah utilize other people um which is great but I I don't know I kind of just like tenting in the woods and stuff like that and if an opportunity pre uh, presents itself to me then I'll take it like this tree house just kind of landed in my lap um but I was just out camping in the forest and that was okay with me I enjoyed that um so I just kind of go with the flow, and uh, so it feels kind of good to just be on my own and do my own thing now. Although I did really enjoy traveling with others. Um, you know, just two different dynamics, and uh, I enjoy them both. And I kind of went against my intuition by coming here to Hawaii so early. Um, I planned on working on the mainland in Texas for a little while and saving up some money before I came here but um, because of the group that I was coming with they were you know going early and uh, I got so excited and wanted to be here as early as possible and um, you know just there was a lot of excitement and um, to get here and just be here quickly um, that I kind of knew that coming here was gonna be like sort of a rough <laughs> thing for me which I always embrace and uh, it's actually kind of nice to have these uh, challenges and these different things that like these unknowns to just like jump right into them because they're always the best learning experience and I always like learn the most and feel the best afterwards when I just uh, you know say I don't really care about you know the fear of money or uh, what could happen and all that and just uh, hop right in it also helps you to be a lot more resourceful and creative when it comes to like if you really need something now you're gonna have probably <laughs> a skill that you'll learn to uh, get what you need and I've just been like hitchhiking into town and uh, you know, all around it's super uh, popular and easy to hitchhike here in Hawaii like tons of people do it and it's a pretty reliable uh, transportation source so if I want to go to the beach or go to the market farmers market or into town or whatever then um, I just hitchhike and it's pretty reliable so yeah I came here with this intention that I was gonna be like able to stick with my friends and we'd all kind of be together I thought that's kind of how it was gonna play out um, so it was like yeah I wasn't even sure if I wanted if I was gonna want to stay here um, after we all split up because it was like that was kind of the whole idea for me to come here was to be with my friends honestly uh, I've been wanting to come to Hawaii for a while but I don't know if Hawaii feels necessarily like the place that I would settle down in um, and so I was like well if I'm not getting to be with my friends and all that then I don't know if I want to stay here but I'm glad that I'm still here I think I'm still going to be here for a while, um, and I've been enjoying it and learning a lot and just, oh my gosh, all the nature all, all around me and all the tropical fruits and the fruits that I've been able to forage. So much abundance here. Um, 
and like so much healing potential and like the synchronicities that you will <laughs> run into here and uh yeah just like it's like everything is just in the flow here and uh really reveals itself to you it's pretty amazing but uh yeah hopefully when my friend comes back uh samuel from coconut chris's uh hopefully he'll enjoy it and want to stay and hopefully we'll be able to do that together um coconut chris is just like i don't know like huge permaculture like fruit um fruit guy <laughs> just really trying to plant tons of fruit trees and i know he's got like tons of exotic fruit like more fruit than we could possibly ever eat and uh, i would love to help out um you know with all the permaculture project projects and help out with the land and uh, you know grow fruit trees and tend to fruit trees and eat exotic fruit like all day <laughs> uh sounds really good to me so um it sounds like it's going to be a lot of work if we go with him but i think that that's what i'd really love to do uh not sure yet what's going to happen this meme sapote is so big and filling i haven't even eaten this half yet and i already am <laughs> like full uh, so good so yeah it seems like i've been kind of moving around every few days stay here for a couple days and then find somewhere else um and it's been fun i really enjoy it experiencing different farms and uh just going out into the woods and uh in different places communities and things like that it's been really cool um and i don't know how long i'll be here in the treehouse just until I feel like uh, I don't want to be here anymore or another opportunity like Coconut Chris's could potentially open up and uh, yeah, just see what happens. You know, keep you updated on everything that's going on. So I think that's all that I can think of uh, to update you on right now. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you are enjoying uh, watching the journey that I'm on. and. Maybe you'll be inspired to go and have your own journey. That's kind of <laughs> my goal here is to get you to have the greatest experience of your life or not. Um, maybe the greatest experience of your life is, you know, at home, comfortable, um, you know, getting your zen on. And uh, maybe you don't really need adventure or anything like that. And uh, I think that that is amazing as well, possibly even more amazing. So... <laughs> I just think whatever you're called to do and whatever is pulling your heart, uh, you know, your highest desire uh, to definitely go for that without having any fear and just know that it's going to be amazing. Um, you know, if you can just kind of break through the fear and just go anyways, it's going to be one of the best experiences of your life. And it may not seem that way while you're in the experience because things can get rough but then you'll realize that it was like the most memorable, amazing experience that you ever had because you followed your heart and you just went for it. And um, you know it's what you're supposed to do. So thank you so much for watching. Aloha, and I'll talk with you in the next video. I cannot finish the sapote. I'm trying so hard and I'm so full. I'm definitely finished with it. It was so big. And I discovered after opening it and eating half of it, that it had two seeds in it. <laughs> I'd never seen that before. So that was pretty cool. It was a huge one. So, yep, I'm done. 